I'm Claire from Creative The Other Way. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! in the UK. Thank you for joining me today. I've got a nice little make today that's really super easy but has a bit of a wow. Um, we all like to give cards with a bit of a wow. Uh, it's called a Tower Fun Fold. So it literally is what it says on the tin. It's a tower card. It stands up. It folds flat so you can get it into an envelope just like that there's a space on the back for your um, private message personal message um, super easy it looks really complicated um, I've seen a few different makes of this one I particularly liked um, that I've cased here is was on Dawn Stampin Forts um, she does a really nice uh, I think it's mango melody colour um, with black and that's really effective. So mine is Magenta Madness, it's resized ever so slightly um, for the UK um, and I've also used some of the papers from the Abstract Beauty designer series paper so I don't know if you've seen those but they're slightly smaller in size, they are 6 by 4 there's some of the ones that I've got left here. Double sided, got a really nice bit of gold accent running through. Perfect for this. You probably need sort of two sheets for that. All you need is an A4 sheet um, of card. I'm going to use Knight and Navy this time, I think. Um, I really am not a pink girl, but I particularly love this paper. The paper that we're going to use next has also got the magenta madness in, but I've gone for the navy background. A um, little bit plainer on that side, but I'm going to keep with the gold theme running through. The embellishments are from the In Bloom dies, and we've used the sentiment from the In Bloom set as well for the front. So I think that's about it. Let's craft. So I've got a Knight of Navy sheet of card. I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see my um, cutting. I didn't think about that actually. Um, but bear with me. I'll go through it very slowly with you. So you take your A4 sheet and on the long side you are cutting it at eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter. Um, you're not going to need that bit apart from to make your squares for the front. So keep that to one side and then turn it sideways and cut it at six inches. So your piece of card should now measure six inches by eight and a quarter. On the eight and a quarter side, we're going to do some scoring. So we are going to score it, remove that cutting blade. Um, just get it right out the way before you make any boopers. Scoring, not cutting. So one inch. We're going to score that at one inch. Oh, that doesn't feel like it's scoring. It's not quite in the runner. There you go. One inch. Two inches is the next one. Three inches is the next one. The next one is five and a quarter. Six and a quarter. And seven and a quarter. So that is the last one. And that gives you several panels on your card. You see all the score lines. So there should be three score lines this side and three score lines that side. So we are going to turn it sideways because we're going to do some cutting on these score lines. So what you're going to do is fold it back on the second score line, just like that. Okay. Place it in your trimmer at one inch. Now what you're aiming is you're going to cut up from this score line up to the top through both pieces. So bring your cutting blade back and this, these are one inch um, score lines. 
So the side of the um, cutting blade, let me see if I've got a bit of wipe. So you can see, if I put that under there, can you see there's um, measurements there? You're looking for the one inch measurement. So make sure it's at one inch. Oh, knocked it. So one inch is there and there's a tiny little mark on the side. So put it at one inch and then really push hard to the top. So you're left with that bit. Do that again at two inches here, but one inch here. So let me put that under again so you can see. So you're finding the one inch and then you are pushing it up, but your paper is at the two inch mark, okay? And that should give you almost like two little tabs. Flip it over and do the same the other end. So find the one inch measurement. Find your score line here and cut up from there. And do that at one inch and two inches the same. Okay, so you've got these pieces cut. Now spin it around, fold it over on the second score line again and do exactly the same. So you're just repeating what you just did. Find the one inch mark, cut up from that score line, find two inches, cut up from that score line to give you those two and then flip it over and do them the other side. So one inch. And incredibly, that is your card made. There's no more scoring or cutting. Ta-da! How is that possible? It doesn't look like anything, does it? Look, what does that look like? So to make it into the shape, uh, this score line here is folded up and just burnished, okay? This one, this side, is folded up and burnished, okay? Now, if the middle panel, if you bring that up and just fold on those lines, like so, and then what you're going to do on here, the first piece here stays up, the next bit goes down, the next one stays up, the next one goes down and you end up with that shape, so it's almost like a cube inside and if you bring that under and just burnish hard on those, that gives you that side and do the same this side, that one goes down, up, down fold it under again and that's how it fits in your envelope just like that and that's how it stands Ta -da! so now you just need to decorate it it really is as simple as that isn't this card making super exciting so the paper that I have chosen is this one from that abstract beauty set just because I, I like the gold on it and I like the navy blue background so what I'm going to do is put two pieces, one either side on there, one there, one there, and then three pieces across here. So if I show you on here, we're going to do these two pieces first. Okay, so they're exactly the same size, we just need to cut them. So they're quarter of an inch smaller than the card, which means that they're five and three quarters by three quarters. So if I do the three quarters first... Three quarters. That's probably way off camera for you, isn't it? Get so excited and carried away, I forget to check. Oh, that's moved as well. Three quarters. Okay. And I'm just going to turn it sideways and just cut a little quarter of an inch off the end. Okay. So that's my two panels, one for there, one for there, okay. Now the top and the bottom are the same, okay, and they are also three quarters but by 
four inches. So I'm going to cut the three quarters first. Or should I do it on the other piece and then I've got that nice big bit left? Let's do it on there. Because this is four inches wide, so I know I need four inches. So let's do that at three quarters. And then that's been the economical with my paper. Sounds like a big grown up word for me. Okay, so that is the top and the bottom. Top and bottom. Da -da. Stick those on in the middle of it. Minute. And the middle piece, what was the middle piece? It was four by one and three quarters. So four inches I don't even have to measure, but one and three quarters I do. So let's bring that all back in and that's going to go across there. Oh, that looks nice already. So now we just glue that in place. Super easy. Now you could layer another um, base colour underneath this. So if this was for a special card, I think I'd pick out one of the colours, probably gold actually, because the gold just adds a bit of bling to it, doesn't it? And that is just going to go down the side there using Tumbow glue because it gives you a bit of wiggle room and do the same that side. This paper is really great because it's any way up so I don't have to be aware of which way around my pattern's going so that that's a win for me as well. I find it really difficult to choose which side of the paper I want so if I've got one that can be any way up that is even better. So that just goes down there, like that. See that really, I don't know if you can see the gold on that, but it's really standing out against the navy. So the top and the bottom piece get put on, just like so. Like that. Now, if you want to press down, you can fold your card in on itself, and then you can really get a good bit of pressure on the DSP or design a serious paper. Okay, the middle bit, that's going to go across. And I think I probably will need to put a bit of pressure on that as well. So I just fold that in so I can see what it looks like. Nice. And then this one. Flying glue. That could get messy, couldn't it? Okay, that's the bottom bit. How quickly does this card come together? Now, if you've been a fan of Stampin' Up! for a while, you will have these stitched um, square dies. They're part of a set that was retired last year. Really sad, because I use them all the time. Um, if you've got normal squares, that's absolutely fine. We're just putting one there and one there. So I've done two navy ones. So I'm just going to put them at an angle like that. And then that one directly on the top. I'm just making sure that they don't come off the edge of the card so that it fits in. And I'm only putting glue down the middle so that there's no wet patches of glue on the other side of my card. So I'm just putting glue down the middle because that will be strong enough to hold it. Folding my card in on itself again so I can see where I am. And trying to make that as central as I can. Okay, so that's the first one. The bottom one can go just over the top and do the same. Put the glue in the middle. Okay, just like that. And just line that up however you're happy with it okay so that's just like that and then you could use all oh, those stitch so sweetly dies that layer up nice you could do that in the middle if you want I'm just going to do put this white one on here to start with but I'm just going to stamp the sentiment because it's always best to do your stamping before you stick things that are um, shaped on and I'm going to do it diagonally so of course where I've used this stamp so much it looks like it's got ink on it but it hasn't 
and I'm using Knight of Navy because that will match with the card. Nobody does coordination like stamping up. Inks, paper, ribbon, all exactly the same colour. That is going to go there. Lovely, really nice. See, not a bit of pink on it at all. That comes in and I think I'm going to put that on with dimensionals because I want it to go a bit higher and I can and stand out a bit. So, but again, it's got no weight on it, so I don't need loads and loads. Um, I'm probably going to put four on there, four or five. That's sticking to me because I've got glue. There you go. We're nearly at the ta-da moment. Already. Okay, that's going to go... Ooh, about there. About there. Okay, and then what I would do to finish it off, oh, I haven't said about the back. So there's a gap down the middle here that you can put a piece of um, basic white card and do your sentiment on and just stick that on. You could decorate that as well if you want to. Um, I haven't got the white card for it, of course, so I'm just going to pretend there's one on there. And then I've got these lovely um, in bloom stitched i have got a thing about stitching um, floral elements and some gold leaves that i am gonna put on there as well um ooh, i don't feel like i need one here somewhere just sticking off there and that is our tower card done number two which one's your favorite the Knight of Navy colour or the Magenta Madness? I'm not so sure. I quite like the Magenta Madness, even though it's pink. Hopefully you've liked what you've seen. Thanks for crafting along with me. Um, if you have liked it, please subscribe. I'm always looking to hear from you and see what your makes are like. Sharing is caring. Thanks for watching. Bye.